Hey guys, I promised you a video on the Bright Farm Pro 1056. Um, we bought it about a month ago, a little over a month ago, and we've set two sets of eggs in it so far. Um, I don't like it. Um, I've already had to take this panel off and reattach a wire. Um, it's chain driven. We put a humidity bucket, which does not seem to be working. It lets all the water go in and we already have rust at the bottom and this alarm equip. down here you have your heating element in the tray and I don't like it because if it runs out of water within an hour it's 115 degrees you've lost a whole batch of eggs if you go to bed and don't check it if you run to town and don't check it you know you've already lost the eggs so the only way I see to keep using this incubator is to check it several times a day because it does go through a whole tray um, within about six or seven hours. But I mean, if you're able to do that, I mean, it'd be a good incubator, but the GQFs in my opinion are so much easier. Um, you can cut the alarm off, but if you cut the alarm off, then you don't know if it's too hot, if the humidity's too low, it ran out of water a while ago and got to 103. We added water to it. Now the humidity's 34. Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, I guess it would work. I haven't had a successful hatch yet. So, but I just wanted to give you guys a review on it. But I'll keep updating. So maybe we can figure this thing out.